Hello, my little demons. It is Demon Julie here. I've come for another visit. Will you let me in? I have a special treat for you today. Oh yes, I wrote you a special story. It's called, Where's Benji? Mm. And I will read you a snippet today. Oh, but I won't ruin the whole thing for you, no. If you simply go to killersanddemons.com and sign up for the oh, deliciously dark newsletter, you will get the whole story for free. Mm-hmm, that is my gift to you. Shall we dig in and see who this Benji is? Yes. Benjamin clawed at icy clumps of snow with his frozen fingertips as he crawled into the forest. His soaked pants stuck to his knees. Goosebumps ran up his arms as his fingers trembled. Oh, Benji, her shrill voice chased him. His heart thumped against his chest, temples throbbing, heart pounding. He narrowed his eyes and focused on the rough trail. Damn it. The path angled upwards into a wall of trees. He needed to make it to the top before she caught up with him. Stupid Trixie. Why did he go home with her that night? Because, dummy, she's hot and she danced like a cleaned up whore and she didn't run when you spoke to her digging his numb fingers into the frosty cubes he pulled his bloody body up the rocky incline red syrup seeped from the gash in his thigh drenching his pant leg in a black red goo pain shot through him from his thigh deep into his gut Benji, I know you're up here. I saw you enter the trail. Trixie swooned sweetly just like the night they met. Her sugar-coated voice took him back to the trashy pub where he sat in the corner, nursing a cheap beer and watching her dance. Holes stuck out of the pavement for the low-rate strippers that earned their keep on the weekends during the week. The floor was open to whoever wanted to share their sexy moves. Not that the place was packed, far from it. It never reached half capacity. Cheap drinks, cheaper strippers, cash only. Benjamin liked the lack of crowds and how well the joint fit into his dwindling college boy's budget. Benji, Trixie's voice sprouted, a tinge of fire. Damn it. He knew that tone, that slight shimmer of fire that would soon broil into full rage. If the inklings of the anger burning within her were a gash to his thigh, a slice to his right cheek, and a stab into his stomach, well, he didn't want to see what would happen when the simmering reached a vigorous bubble. He dug his quivering fingers into the icy snow and pulled himself faster up the hill. Sweat poured down his back, sticking his wool sweater to his skin, despite the chill clinging to the air. He reached the top, collapsing in a pool of sweat and dirty slush he laid on his back. His arms went limp against the cold, mucky ground. The thump, thump of his heart drilled through his ears, his breath ragged and fast. The tall trees loomed down at him, their branches swirling in a dark green haze. He needed to gather himself. Benji, where are you? Come out and play. Trixie's voice seethed with frustration. He had to keep moving now. He rolled onto his stomach. The movement of his leg caused a fresh ooze of scarlet to douse his pants. His leg throbbed. He forced his knee to bend. Getting onto all fours, he tried to stand, but his leg gave out and he found himself in a heaving mess of blood and sweat. Benji, your time is running out. Come on, one last fuck for thrills, huh? Anger, he heard it in her voice. Fuck, 
He got himself onto all fours again, his legs and arms shaking. He crawled ahead like a centipede with dozens of amputated legs. And that, my little demons, is where we end today. So be sure to visit me at killersanddemons.com and get your copy today. And do come back and visit me soon, huh?